Welcome back, Lash Queens and Lash Kings. I am here with another video to show you guys how to properly disinfect and sanitize your guys' lash tools. Um, we're just going to go ahead and start off by wiping down your counters before you guys do start cleaning. Make sure you do this before every single time and also when you are completed. What I am using, I am using cavi wipes. You just want to make sure that you're wiping down every single part, every section, and everything that you touch. Um, yeah, so just go ahead and relax and just get a pen and paper because this is the proper way to wash and sanitize and disinfect your guys' lash tools. So yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy this video. So what we're going to go ahead and be using today to um, disinfect will be the barbicide. You can go ahead and purchase Barbicide at Sally's. You can purchase it at any beauty store in your area. Um, I purchased this for about $20 to $25. You, I'm pretty sure you can purchase it offline as well. You can purchase everything offline nowadays. So we'll go ahead and just start by showing you guys how to fill up your um, disinfecting um, box. I purchased this off of Amazon. I already removed all the old Barbicide that was in here before. So on the back of the barbicide, it says to go ahead and use 32 ounces of water with mix 2 ounces of barbicide. But since we will not be using 32 ounces of water, we will only be using roughly 13 to 16 ounces of water. So technically you divide that, you divide 32 by 2 and that leaves you with 16. So since we're not going to be using... um the full 16 ounces of water we're only going to be using about 13 ounces of water we're only going to be using about half of cup of half ounce of barbicide but i always put one ounce of barbicide into 13 ounces of water okay so we'll go ahead and just start by filling that up with hot water so this is actually a color applicator. It has listed here the ounces. I also purchased this at Sally's. You can purchase this um, online. You can purchase this at your nearest beauty store as well. So we're going to go ahead and fill it up with 13 ounces. Listed here, shown I only have about 5 ounces in the bottle. You do want to go ahead and use these measurements that I'm showing you if you do purchase this box only because um, if you go over that, it's going to overflow the overflow in the box. So now we're going to go ahead and just put about one ounce of barbicide in here. So I did put a little bit less than... Um, one ounce and then we'll go ahead and just rinse out whatever is in here all right so that's basically all that you're going to be needing for a barbicide all right so what we're going to go ahead and do we're going to go ahead and start by sanitizing our tools before we do throw them into the barbicide so what this does, this actually reduces any um, bacteria that is still on the tool. So we're, what we're going to be using is this brush that you can purchase for a few bucks at your nearest um, Sally's beauty store. And then we're going to go ahead and put some antibacterial soap onto the brush. And then we're going to go ahead and scrub off any um, bacteria that it is still living on your tools. All right, so now what we're going to do, we're gonna go ahead and use uh, your alcohol spray bottle. This is when we're gonna go ahead and just spray the tools down with alcohol. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and transfer the sanitized tools into the barbicide. And then that's where we're going to go ahead and let them sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. No more than that. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and 
throw the sanitized tools into the barbicide. And I do go ahead and throw the brush in there as well. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and let that sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. You do not wanna let them sit in there longer than that. Okay, so I did already clean my um, my brushes that I used. All right, so while we're waiting for that to go ahead and soak for about 10 to 15 minutes, we'll go ahead and start by cleaning off um, the brushes here. So the brushes I here use for um, when I'm giving the clients lash bath. The way I clean the brushes, I go ahead and get my antibacterial soap. I spray some on the palm of my hand. I give the brush a little rinse and then I go ahead and just do this. And I just keep scrubbing until everything um, comes off and then until I feel like gave it a really good scrub. And then I'll go ahead and repeat this step for the rest of the brushes there. All right, you guys, so it has been about 10 minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove the tools out of the barbicide. So you remember, you keep in mind, the reason why we sanitize the tools is because that reduces any bacteria that is still living on the tools. And then what we do when we throw them into the barbicide, what that also does is actually brings the bacteria level to a safe level. And then so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go ahead and remove these and then what we're going to do, we're gonna go ahead and, um, we're gonna go ahead and rinse them with hot water. So this, is completely clean so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and throw the brush to the side like this and now what we're going to be using is going to be our sterilizer box here so this here you can also purchase off of Amazon I believe I purchased this for about $15 it is a lot cheaper than a lot of the other ones that they have on there you remember keep in mind um, I do do my best to try to keep it in a low budget and also see what are the best products at the affordable rate. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go ahead and give these a nice good rinse. So when you are completely done rinsing the tools from the barbicide, you want to make sure that your tools air dry or you dry them before throwing them into the sterilizer because you do not want to put any water in there. All right, so since they are still a little wet in between, I'm just going to go ahead and just let them air dry a bit and then I'll come back and show you guys how to throw them into the sterilizer. And then basically that's all that we're gonna be needing to do. Um, so just keep in mind, this is the proper way that you ladies and gentlemen need to do to basically be cleaning your um, your tools because this is disinfecting and sanitizing your, your lash tools and this is the proper way to be doing it. So yeah, I'll be right back. Um, as soon as these are done air drying, I'll go ahead and show you guys what's next all right ladies so they have been air dried for about 10 to 15 minutes so what i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and throw them into this sterilizer 
pot here. Right, so this lid actually does not close all the way. But I just make sure that I have everything in there. Um, you can use the sterilizer box, which does cover, which is the best route to go. But if you guys are on a budget, you guys can purchase this. And you just basically let that sit. Once those are done, you're going to go ahead and remove them. I leave them in there for about 5 to 10 minutes. And it, there's not really a wrong or right time to keep them in there because when the pot does get too hot, it automatically shuts itself off. So it does not let itself go over the certain temperature. So once those are completed being sanitized what i do i do go ahead and get the container and i place them in here and i make sure that i close the lid on the tools because you do not want to leave the tools out in an open area to where anything can jump onto the tools all right ladies so my tools are completely done and ready they're basically ready for the next client so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and remove my clean, sanitized, and disinfected tools. And I'm going to go ahead and place them into this bin. We'll go ahead and close this. And they are going to be ready for the next client. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Um, I will be posting another video on some Amazon lashes that I did just purchase. I will be testing some out today. I will try to get that video by the end of this weekend. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I hope you ladies do subscribe. And I have more coming. Thanks for watching. Bye.